A Kid Explains History! Hello, Mr. Q here. Today we have kind of a scary episode. Or at least it would have been scary if you were watching it in Europe in the late 1340s, which is obviously impossible without a computer. But the point is, that was the time of the Black Death. And by the end of it, almost half of Europe was dead. It was a bacterial infection called Yersinia pestis. We know this now because of our advances in medicine and science, but it's important to remember that no one back then had any idea what was making people sick. Actually, it was carried by fleas that lived on rats that lived on boats. The first ships carrying the Black Death from the east arrived in the Sicilian port of Messina. In October 1347, 12 ships carried sailors that were either dead or dying, which naturally freaked everyone out in Messina. They tried to send the ships away, but it was too late. People started getting a fever, maybe they would vomit and get a headache, and within two or seven days, they were dead. The dirty conditions of medieval life made it easier for the infection to spread. Seriously, the 14th century must have been stinking, but it wasn't just the overcrowded cities that were dangerous. Sometimes people would run away to the country only to find out that cows, goats, and chickens could catch the plague too. So you're not safe anywhere. As I said earlier, people did not know why this was happening and they were terrified that they would be next. Throughout history, this has not always led to the best decisions. Most people figured that the Black Death was sent by God because he was angry at them for some reason. To make him happy, some people thought it would be a good idea to kill the people they thought God was most angry at. This led to horrible crimes against beggars, lepers, and especially Jewish people. None of which stopped people getting sick. Another crazy thing people did during these years was use the plague as a weapon. People trying to take over a city would catapult dead bodies over the walls. These people were mean. Although this wave of black death only lasted six years, smaller outbreaks kept happening for hundreds of years after that. Along the way, people learned new ways to limit the damage. One of these was first used in Dubrovnik in 1377, and it was called quarantine. Basically, it meant keeping sick people away from healthy people so healthy people don't get sick and is still an important part of disease prevention today. Luckily, we also have modern medicine. If you are unlucky enough to catch bubonic plague today, you just have to take some antibiotics. The sooner you take them, the better though, so go to the doctor. Not that one. Although he still probably could help you, but uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. Thanks for coming and watching this video today. I hope I didn't scare you. Remember, all that black death stuff Happened a long time ago, but although you still can't get it. You know what? I'm going to stop talking about this. Have a nice day, everyone. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.